Welcome to this informative video about chronic kidney disease, CKD, and its causes. CKD is a complex and potentially serious condition that affects millions of people around the world. In this video, we will explore what CKD is, its causes, symptoms, stages, and treatment options. We will also discuss the importance of regular kidney function tests and steps you can take to prevent CKD from developing. Whether you or a loved one are living with CKD or are simply interested in learning more about this condition, this video is for you. So sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of chronic kidney disease. 1. Chronic kidney disease CKD, is a serious and potentially life-threatening condition that can cause a wide range of symptoms and complications. It is important to get regular kidney function tests if you are at risk for CKD, such as if you have diabetes, high blood pressure, or a family history of kidney disease. If you experience any symptoms of CKD, such as fatigue, swelling in the hands and feet, or changes in urination patterns, it is important to see a healthcare provider for evaluation and treatment. With early detection and proper management, it is possible to slow the progression of CKD and prevent further damage to the kidneys. 2. Diabetes and high blood pressure are the leading causes of CKD, accounting for approximately two-thirds of all cases. However, there are many other conditions and factors that can contribute to the development of CKD, including chronic glomerulonephritis, polycystic kidney disease, and autoimmune diseases such as lupus. It is important to identify the underlying cause of CKD in order to properly manage the condition and prevent further kidney damage. If you have any risk factors for CKD, such as a family history of kidney disease or a history of diabetes or high blood pressure, it is important to talk to your healthcare provider about screening and preventative measures. 3. CKD is often asymptomatic, which means that many people may not realize they have the condition until it has progressed to a more advanced stage. This is why CKD is sometimes called a silent disease. However, as the condition progresses, symptoms can begin to appear, such as fatigue, swelling in the hands and feet, changes in urination patterns, and decreased appetite. If you experience any of these symptoms, it is important to talk to your healthcare provider, who can perform tests to evaluate your kidney function and determine if CKD is present. Early detection and management of CKD is crucial for preventing further kidney damage and reducing the risk of complications. 4. The stages of CKD are determined by the glomerular filtration rate, GFR, which is a measure of how effectively the kidneys are filtering waste from the blood. Stage 1 CKD is the mildest form of the condition, with a GFR of 90 or above. As the condition progresses, the GFR decreases and the stage of CKD increases. Stage 5 CKD is the most severe form of the condition, with a GFR below 15. At this stage, the kidneys are no longer functioning effectively and dialysis or a kidney transplant may be necessary to manage the condition. It's important to note that the stages of CKD are not based solely on GFR, and other factors such as the presence of albumin in the urine and the presence of kidney damage may also be considered when determining the stage of CKD. 5. CKD can lead to a range of complications and health issues, which can impact the overall health and quality of life of people with the condition. Some of the most common complications of CKD include high blood pressure, anemia, bone disease, and an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. High blood pressure is a particularly common complication of CKD, as the kidneys play an important role in regulating blood pressure. Anemia can also occur as a result of CKD, as the kidneys are responsible for producing a hormone called erythropoietin that stimulates the production of red blood cells. Additionally, CKD can cause bone disease by disrupting the balance of calcium and phosphorus in the body, which can weaken bones and increase the risk of fractures. Finally, people with CKD have an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, such as heart attacks and strokes, which can be caused by a variety of factors including high blood pressure, inflammation, and the buildup of plaque in the arteries. 6. Treatment for CKD typically involves managing underlying conditions such as diabetes and high blood pressure, which can help slow the progression of the disease and prevent further damage to the kidneys. In addition to managing underlying conditions, lifestyle changes can also be an important part of managing CKD. 
Eating a healthy diet that is low in sodium and high in fruits and vegetables can help manage high blood pressure and reduce the risk of complications. Regular exercise can also be beneficial for overall health and can help manage weight and blood pressure. Finally, quitting smoking can help reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease and other complications associated with CKD. In some cases, medications may be prescribed to help manage symptoms and prevent complications, such as medications to lower blood pressure or treat anemia. In more advanced stages of CKD, dialysis or a kidney transplant may be necessary to manage the condition. It is important to work closely with a healthcare provider to develop a treatment plan that is tailored to your specific needs and medical history. 7. Medications such as ACE inhibitors and angiotensin receptor blockers ARBs, are often prescribed to help manage CKD by reducing blood pressure and protecting the kidneys from further damage. These medications work by blocking the actions of hormones that can narrow blood vessels and increase blood pressure, which can help to improve blood flow to the kidneys and reduce stress on the kidneys. ACE inhibitors and ARBs are particularly effective in people with CKD who also have high blood pressure, as high blood pressure is a major risk factor for kidney damage and progression of CKD. In addition to reducing blood pressure, these medications may also have other beneficial effects on the kidneys, such as reducing proteinuria, the presence of protein in the urine, which can be a sign of kidney damage. It is important to work closely with a healthcare provider when taking these medications, as they can cause side effects in some people and may interact with other medications or supplements. 8. In some cases, when the kidneys are no longer able to function properly and the condition has progressed to advanced stages, dialysis or a kidney transplant may be necessary. Dialysis is a medical treatment that uses a machine to filter waste and excess fluid from the blood when the kidneys are no longer able to do so effectively. There are two main types of dialysis, hemodialysis, which uses a machine to filter the blood outside of the body, and peritoneal dialysis, which uses the lining of the abdomen to filter the blood. Kidney transplantation involves surgically replacing a damaged or failed kidney with a healthy kidney from a donor. Transplantation can offer a better quality of life and longer survival for some people with advanced CKD, but it also requires ongoing medical care and treatment to prevent rejection of the new kidney. The decision to undergo dialysis or a kidney transplant depends on a variety of factors, including the individual's overall health, age, and the extent of kidney damage. A healthcare provider can work with individuals to determine the best treatment option for their specific situation. 9. If you are at risk for CKD, it is important to get regular kidney function tests to help detect the condition early and prevent further damage to the kidneys. Some of the risk factors for CKD include diabetes, high blood pressure, family history of kidney disease, and age over 60. Kidney function tests can include blood tests, urine tests, and imaging studies such as ultrasounds. These tests can help healthcare providers to evaluate how well the kidneys are functioning and detect any signs of kidney damage or disease. Early detection and treatment of CKD is important for preventing complications and slowing the progression of the disease. If you are at risk for CKD, talk to your healthcare provider about how often you should get kidney function tests and what other steps you can take to prevent or manage the condition. 10. Prevention of CKD is an important aspect of overall kidney health and can help to reduce the risk of developing the condition. Some of the steps that can be taken to prevent CKD include 1. Managing underlying health conditions. If you have conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure, or heart disease, it is important to work with your healthcare provider to manage these conditions and prevent complications that can lead to kidney damage. 2. Maintaining a healthy weight. Being overweight or obese can increase the risk of developing diabetes and high blood pressure, both of which are major risk factors for CKD. Maintaining a healthy weight through diet and exercise can help to reduce the risk of these conditions and protect kidney function. 3. Limiting alcohol intake. Drinking too much alcohol can cause kidney damage and increase the risk of developing high blood pressure and other health problems. Limiting alcohol intake to moderate levels, up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day for men, can help to protect kidney function. 4. Avoiding long-term use of NSAIDs. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, 
such as ibuprofen can cause kidney damage if taken for long periods of time or in high doses. If you need to take these medications, it is important to follow the recommended dosages and talk to your healthcare provider about any potential risks. By taking steps to prevent CKD, individuals can help to protect their kidney health and reduce the risk of developing this condition. It is important to work closely with a healthcare provider to manage underlying health conditions, maintain a healthy lifestyle, and get regular kidney function tests to detect any signs of kidney damage early. That's all for today's video on chronic kidney disease, CKD. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. Remember, early detection and management of CKD is crucial for maintaining good kidney function and preventing further complications. If you have any questions or concerns about CKD, please consult with your healthcare provider. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on health and wellness. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.